What do you say when somebody tells you, I don't believe in Jesus or Christianity because all the horrible things that have been done in the name of it? That answer coming right up. Roll the intro. All right, so welcome to Bible Stories. My dad told me my name is Luis Feliz. And in this channel, what you will find is Bible principles and stories that I share with my daughters, Marilyn and Sophia, so that they can grow closer to God. So if you think you might find value in a loving dad sharing advice for their daughters, then consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that we get notified of my weekly videos. All right, so without further ado, let's roll right into it. So in the intro, I asked, what do you say when somebody tells you, hey, listen, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in Christianity because there have been so many horrible things that have been done in the name of Christianity and religion. So, again, that is a very compelling and very like reasonable statement, right? Why would you align yourself with an idea, with a theology in which people have used it, right, in order to do horrible things? And we've seen it. It's in history. It's true. It's happened can't deny it. Again, on its face, that sounds very compelling. And like, you know what, it's a good reason. But if you start using your mind and start thinking girls and boys and whomever is listening to this, then you start really, you know, l removing the layers and seeing that it doesn't really make sense. Because if you use that logic, right, if you use the logic of, hey, listen, a lot of horrible things have been done in the name of religion and Christianity, then the same thing can be said about politics and about maybe sex, power, airplanes, knives. They just crashed in 2001, uh, two, three planes, right, in the World Trade Center and somewhere else and in other places in the world. So are you not going to fly planes anymore or ride in planes anymore? What about cars? You know, people have done a lot of horrible things when they drive cars. They get drunk and they crash into people, like innocent people. Are you not going to ride cars anymore? So, girls, are you seeing how that argument, as compelling as it may sound, it kind of really loses its value. It doesn't make sense. It's not logical. Because when horrible things are done in the name of religion or in the name of anything else, it, it says more about the people and than the religion or Christianity. And instead of, you know, digging deep, like when somebody makes that statement, I, I, I don't believe in Jesus or Christianity because of the horrible things have been done in the name of it. There is a deeper underlying reason that they perhaps have not thought through, maybe, or they perhaps like intentionally are ignoring or rejecting. Because that's just a willful choice of, hey, listen, I don't believe in you, Jesus. I don't. I don't believe that he's the son of God. I don't believe that he's who he said he was. I don't believe in the Bible. And that's okay. People can do that. You know, that's why God gave us free will. So, girl, so instead of trying to argue with somebody about this, just present, you know, the, the flaw in their logic. That it is not because horrible things have been done in the name of it. Because it doesn't make any sense. Those two are not connected. They don't connect. Again, it's like saying, I don't believe in knives. Because knives have been used to do horrible things. You still use knives. That says more about the person than the knife. Again, horrible things being done in the name of Christianity says more about us, humanity, than it's about religion and Christianity. Okay? So, girls and anybody else listening to this, don't fall for that trap. Just let it come to the surface. Just point out the flaw in their logic. Like, listen, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what is it? What is the real reason why you don't believe it? And it's okay, you know? Whomever believes or, or chooses, you know, not to put their trust in Jesus, that's what we do, right? We have put our trust in Christ. We have put our trust in the scriptures. And God gave us the free will to choose to reject that or to put our trust in him. And we have done so. So that's it. So if you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up, girls, and anybody else listening. And I will see you in the next video. God bless you. Peace out. Bye.